Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2013 Ford C-Max, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Roadmaster Toad Vehicle Charge Line Kit. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure uh, you know that this is gonna be the kit for you. So the Charge Line Kit is really going to accomplish one thing, and that's to make sure that your battery in the C-Max uh, is always topped off and it's always uh, has full juice whenever you're flat towing it behind your motorhome. And that's something that's really important, you know, because when you get to where you're going, you want to have that confidence knowing that you can just turn the key and, uh, you know, start your car right up. Uh, and with that said, the reason that the battery can get depleted whenever you're flat towing it is because, generally speaking, just about every braking system out there is going to use battery power to operate. All right. And so... Whenever you're going down the road for hours on end and that braking system is constantly taking a little bit of juice here and there, you know, it don't take uh, much time for your battery to run flat, you know, and then you got to go through the trouble of, you know, pulling a charger out or getting a jump box or cables, bothering someone to help you and everything else. Um, and so the charge line kit's going to solve that issue. And what's going to happen is whenever you're towing it behind your motorhome, your motorhome seven way the connector plug back there, uh, the 12 volt auxiliary power, what it's gonna do is send amperage through the charge line and into the battery. And so essentially, uh, whenever you tone it down the road, more or less, uh, the, the charge line kit is going to trickle charge battery and keep it up to full capacity and everything else like that. Now, with that said, um, you are gonna have to have that 12 volt auxiliary power already hooked up to your seven way and generally speaking if you have a seven way that's already there um, especially on these late model uh, motorhomes if uh, you have an older motorhome or, or something like that uh, just make sure that's uh, 12 volt powers there at the seven way and you know then the charge line kit will uh, work out for you i do want to address a couple uh, questions that people ask and one of them is you know is this kit going to affect your motorhome's batteries and the answer is no so um, the, the C-Max's battery will be getting charged only when the motorhome is running. And whenever the motorhome is running, its alternator is, is generating uh, amperage and charging its own batteries as well. And you're going to have more than enough to spare uh, to trickle charge the C-Max battery. So you're not going to have to worry about anything funny happening there. And I also want to mention too, you know, keep in mind this kit is designed to work with uh, batteries that are in good condition, good working order. You know, this isn't going to bring a battery uh, back from the dead. Um, it's designed to have those batteries in good condition and keep them that way. So, um, you know, something that I figured I'd mention and, um, you know, try to answer some of those questions that uh, you guys have. Now, as far as the installation goes, actually getting this hooked up. Uh, really couldn't be much more simple, honestly. Uh, essentially, it's one wire and a circuit breaker. So, route a wire up from your connector at the front of your car to the breaker and to the power post. So, really shouldn't give you a whole lot of issues. Speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and hook it up together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be here at the front of our C-Max. Now, clearly, we have the uh, front fascia removed, and I'm doing this... Uh, uh, the same time that we did our base plate makes it a lot easier with all this extra room but with that said you know you don't have to have all this stuff off to get this job done but the first thing that we're going to do is grab one end of our wiring here bundle wire put that through the dust cover there on our uh, uh, connector plug and then the center post here we're going to back that screw out. Don't take it out completely. It's hard to get back in. Just take it out a little ways. And the end of our charge line here, we're going to strip back on insulation. Give it a good twist. Put it into that center post. And tighten down that set screw. Once everything's hooked on up, uh, what I like to do is take some dielectric grease and just coat the terminals really good. And this will help prevent corrosion and things like that. It's usually probably argu arguably the number one cause of uh, failure here. 
but I'll give that a real good coating. Take our uh, cover, cover it back up. And what I'm gonna do is just take some electrical tape and, and make sure everything's sealed. So now I went ahead and routed our wire and I just ran it along through here and it comes right up through there and kind of behind our headlight into the engine compartment. So here's where the wire comes up and what I've done is decided to mount our breaker here. So this is going to come with your kit. I just mounted this right here to the core support. Super easy comes with a couple screws, you just use those to uh, secure it down. So this wire is going to go to the gold post here, labeled battery, and so I cut it, cut it to length, strip back the insulation, and we're going to slide on one of these smaller ring terminals. So when you slide that on, you're going to crimp it down. And we can remove this nut here. Be careful when you're doing this. These have a tendency to just kind of like pop off almost. And then it's usually a pain to try to find where it fell. So get that slit off. Put the ring terminal over it. Run that down. We'll take a 3-8 socket and snug it up. Now for this one, really simple. That leftover piece of wire that we, you know, got because we trimmed this one to length, you're just going to strip back the ends of the insulation. One is going to have a smaller ring terminal, other is going to have the bigger ring terminal. That small ring terminal we're going to put on the silver post. Get that ran down. and tightened up. Now as far as the other end of our red wire goes, we want the big ring terminal, we need to get that hooked up. We're going to have this power post here and we're going to get this cover out of the way. That just pops off and there's got to be a nut right there. We're going to be using this nut and so we're going to remove it using a 13 millimeter and take our wire slide it around the stud and simply just tighten the nut back down that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster towed vehicle charge line kit on our 2013 Ford C-Max